dimensions. Wow. Hey, Mom. What was that? Mom doesn't know either, but it's a bad omen. Let us pray. Okay. Mom, what's that? What? What? Oh, there. The Oli Iron Chain Knights. Why is the army of the Oli Sea here? Hey, hey! The Mother Pilgrim back there was quite the beauty. Is she your type, Vice Commander Azan? I'll bet she's a war widow. Mind yourself, Serpico! Precisely how do you regard this duty of apocalyptic inquiry? A miracle of our solemn and dreadful God is before your eyes, and you let them stray over a mere woman? You ungrateful dog! Oh, you're so uptight! Awkward old men are pitiful, you know. This is why you're still single at your age. That's none of your concern. I'm something of a clergyman, and I've absolutely no intention of wedding. That's not fashionable these days. You two, we're on a mission. Could you put an end to it? Message! She got angry. <laughs> it's your fault. Don't he he me. What is it? We... we found it. <laughs> found it? Really? At last. You're certain? Aye. Unmistakably. As prophesized, the Red Lake has appeared. What in... Oh, dear Lord! To think that something like this would really appear! It surely is the Red Lake, as the prophecy foretold. No mistake. The revelations say that when the sun dies five times, a red lake will appear to the west of the city, with a name both new and old. It is proof that the fifth angel will alight. The angel is the hawk of darkness, the master of the sinful black sheep, and the king of the blind white sheep. The one who shall call down upon the world an age of darkness. Talk about tough times. Looks like things are shriveling up in these parts. Oh, likely there ain't been nothing worth plundering. And now this rain! <coughs> Only good we caught this scrawny kid wandering in the forest. Well, even so, she'll be worth salmon when we sell her off. <coughs> oh, sheesh! He likes her! <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic, man. Fool. By the way, you know about this tree? Huh? What about it? A long time ago, heretics who believed in forest spirits lived around here. Heretics? It said they'd stake people's intestines to a tree and make them walk around it once. It was a ritual of sacrifice. This tree is one of them. This one? Hey, lay off the bad jokes. This place is creepy enough already. Think it's a joke? Look. Look real close at all the bumps. Don't they look like human faces? I'll bet those are the faces of people who got nailed to this tree. Enough already. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I get up, bitch. Hey, Dick, what are you doing? <laughs> Ain't it obvious? Let's try it. That ritual thing. Forget about it. 
We gotta sell her. We could just snatch another woman. Huh? Uh, besides, uh, yeah. I wanna <laughs> see if she can really walk around a tree even once with her guts nailed to it. <laughs> That boy's sick in the head. Leave the fool be. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, this will hurt. Oh, what's that? Uh, what the? Who's there? What are you trying to pull? What now? Get your ass out here. <laughs> Ah! Who the hell are you? Ah, can't even catch a wink. <laughs> How long have you been there, bastard? Since long before you all started jabbering. <laughs> you made a fool of me. No, I didn't. Don't, don't screw with me, man. We could always drag out your bowels. Instead of the girls. <laughs> Never mind that. Oh. <laughs> Is that story true? About this tree? Staking intestines and all that? Huh? Sure. So what of it? You wanna join the club? Ah, this sucks. I can't believe I got out of the rain under something like this. No sleep's making me stupid. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is none of my business. But you'd best get out of here now. If you don't want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected from this fool. Don't you realize the position you're in now? <laughs> That's too bad. How you made my buddy bleed. You won't get away with it. Well, I'll give you one chance. Leave all your arms and goods and split. Huh? <laughs> come on, come on. Move or your head gets smashed. Sorry, but one arm's all I've got. What? A fair car? Made of iron. <sighs> you, you've got quite the rarity there, pal. We'll, we'll be taking it. Along with your life. Wait. You begging? Because it's way too late. Yeah. Looks like you're right. It is too late. Monster, a dreadful, 
and fantastic spectacle. It was a man bearing a gigantic slab-like iron sword longer than his own body. Calmly placed himself before the monster. <laughs> I've seen the sun in three days. Get one of these. Ugh. So it was you, Bug. Poking your nose into things. It's what I like to do, right? It's not like I asked you to beat up those bandit scots. <laughs> well, guess it is true that I used you. <laughs> Who knew that monster'd be. <laughs> what? I'm no freaky bug. You don't have to do that after we saved you. <laughs> Cry babies. Oh, Misty Valley. Uh, An elf from Misty Valley. Misty Valley. Huh? Whoa! Wait for me. First, I've prayed to God in ten years. <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding. I didn't think it was really haunted. Man, what a hell of a night, I tell ya. Huh? What the? All this mist suddenly. Ah, uh, boy, just now. Yeah, uh, I don't like this. Uh, wh what is it? Uh, uh. Is a fairy tale. F first a monster, and now elves. Did it, did, dear God, this ain't some kid's fairy tale. Yes, this is a fairy tale for children. <laughs> Over there. That's my village. Pretty run down. Hmm. 
Ha, Jill. Running out like that's all of a sudden. Where the hell you been wandering all night, huh? Still drinking. This entire time. You stupid runt. Me and me war buddies here was just reminiscing about the glory of the battlefield. So, so what? You look like a fool still wearing that thing. You say what? Gee, please stop. She's come back safe after all. Hi, Jill. Glad to see you're okay. Sorry about last night. Mm. Mm. That being said, go buy some booze. You're going to keep drinking. Jill, stop that. Enough already. Day after day, you babble on about some battle you lost. Why don't you think about us some? <laughs> lost battle? Old babble? Don't talk to me like you know more than a kid. We fought our hearts out so our wives and children could live in safety. I served my country crawling under cannonballs and came away with a bum leg. Hmm. What? What's that look? Apologize to your father, Jill. Out of the way! Mum! No! I refuse to look at the father who risked his life for his family. What was that look for? What? Huh? What? What? Huh? You gotta show me more respect. You gotta, gotta be nicer to me. Oh, shit. Bloody needle. When did you get... Don't sweat the details. Who? Who are you? What the hell are you doing? Uh, no. It was this. <laughs> uh, 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 an, an, an elf? Uh, an elf? He's got an elf with He's him. He's got an elf with him. Good grief. What's the deal with these people? What did I do? <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. Um, I won't hurt you again. Jill, you hurry and get in the house. N no, Mum. That elf saved me. He's not from the Misty. Does your kind swarm about and eat crops? You there? You're gonna hand that elf over to us? Peacefully? That's fine by me. No, it isn't. But first, I want to know why. Shut up! Just give it here! Otherwise, we'll beat you dead! Yeah! You're wrong! He's not one of the Misty Valley Elves! Do you just come inside the house? Oh boy. Doesn't seem talking's getting us anywhere. Bloodthirsty elves. Don't just stand there, skedaddle! Uh. Skedaddle. Give me back my grandchild. Old lady, I screwed up. He, he attacked that old woman. Get in the pouch. Maybe they'll calm down if I kill one or two. God, no, you're wrong. He's not one of the Misty Valley Elves. Damn it. Death to the Elves. Don't let the elf escape alive! D don't let him go! Ah. See him? That way! Ah. Why'd it turn out like this? I'll get them. Ignoramuses. Some arson, maybe? Hey. I mean, what's the big idea? Catching the charming little elf and beat him to death? They're psychos! A den of twisted sex offenders! Usually, elves are synonymous with cuteness. When a head or two a cattle gets stolen, ain't it a happy old tradition in backward joints like this to just smile and say, he was just a mischievous elf. That's supposed to be an elf's privilege. Ah, uh, don't you get that? Someone ought to beat your attitudes into shape. Keep your chin down. You done yet? Since when did my satchel become your nest? Don't sweat the details. Just think of it as having picked up a good luck charm. Means you're lucky. What's lucky about you? My luck just took a nosedive. Eh, I'll curse you. Mr. Swordsman? Little Elf? I'm sorry. 
If only I'd warned you ahead of time, this wouldn't have- No kidding. Thanks to that, I missed out on some valuable info. I'm Puck. Are you okay, Jill? Hmm. Sure. I'm fine. You can hide in that windmill shed. No one's used it since it broke down. When night falls, I I'll bring some food. Then we'll talk. Stay put until then. Hey, uh, Jill, right? If you come, do it towards morning. Do not come near me before dawn breaks, no matter what. Huh? I doubt you want a repeat of last night. Mm, took long enough. How long was I supposed to wait? You slug! I'm, I'm sorry. Now, now, you've proved your point. It's because you're this way. The jail's turning out the way she is. Don't you see that? Discipline her! I... I'll be mindful. I'm gonna take a piss. Sleep a minute ago. A black swordsman with an elf. He's come from some strange world. Some place I don't know other than here. Nothing but bad luck. You should have died on that day. Eleven years ago, beneath your mother's corpse. You should have died. I'll let you in on something. Remember what happened the night of your first battle? Donovan bought you for three silver coins. I'm the one he paid. Why? Because I was sick of you, that's why. You killed Shisa, and then you followed me around like some lonely pup. Just when I thought I could sleep after four days. Huh? Why didn't you tell me about the Misty Valley? The valley is east of this village, over three mountains. 
for some strange reason, a mist hangs there all year round. So everyone calls it the Misty Valley. There's a legend that elves have lived there for a long time. But why? Why does everyone get that look on their face when anyone mentions elves? Did something happen? I guess some weird swarm did go rampaging in the fields. How rude! We'd never do that! You... might be right. Huh? For some years now, the villages in this area have been attacked by mysterious creatures. Fields and storehouses are attacked and crops devoured. Lots of livestock are killed too. Everyone who sees them say the same thing. That they're elves. It must be the elves of the Misty Valley. That's nuts. It can't be. Elves attacking human villages? Elves naturally do all they can to avoid being seen by humans. It's some kind of mistake. Have you ever seen them, Jill? Yes. My village has been attacked many times. They're small and they glow faintly. There are insect wings on their backs and... They're shaped like people. We've got a match. <laughs> but... I think something's not right. Something's strange. And... I don't think it's true. You're just too kind. I do declare. I am useful. You see? You see? But it's true that damage has been done. And not just to fields and livestock. There's another reason why everyone in the village is scared. It's that... Those little ones... Also attack humans. And eat them. And... They carry off children. Jill? She's in the wrong for wandering around outside at a time like this. It ain't my fault. Damn it. No one round here listens to a thing I say. Why's my look so rotten? Huh? Damn it all. <coughs> oh, it's Thomas from the Hansons. Where, were they killed? Stay down, kid. Hey, look. From yesterday, 
Why? What does he bloody want? <sighs> Elves, huh? Dad! Mom! Hey, kid. You want revenge from Mummy and Daddy? <sighs> or else, do you want to go with these things? Uh-uh. Okay. Help out, then. Wait, Jill, wait! Hey! I'm telling you, it'd be best to sit tight in the windmill shed. This is dangerous. Come on, quit it. This is bad news. <laughs> Isn't that? How oh, dare he? D dear God. There he goes again. Kind of vermin. I knew it. a good lure, boy. Watch. Uh -huh. Bugs burn. Real nice. Even though you're human, how come? A big elf! That's an elf? That's an elf! So you're the Queen Bee? I'm no bee. I'm an elf. Hmm. <laughs> no! Playing elf, maybe. Insect scourge. That was mean! Did you all hear that? What should we do? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Get him. He's a liar! He's a liar! He's a liar! Always get him! What's with them? They don't seem like elves. They seem like... Right. Then here I go. Uh, wait! Guts! Time out! What? <laughs> ha! Ah. Gods! You okay? Shut up or get lost, you! Yahoo! Yahoo! Gotcha! Gotcha! Yeah. <laughs> Bitch! Time out! Hey, time out! I said time out! Quit fighting them! Shut up! I can hardly tell you apart as it is. Keep hanging around and I'll swat you too! Listen! They... They're definitely not elves. They're, they're children. Say what? The way they move and act. Besides, 
I can feel it in their thoughts. I can tell. They're children. Human children. Human? Huh? Hey! Don't go talking with humans on your own like that. That's what we call Peekoff, the outcast. Huh? Peekoff? Huh? Peekoff? What? Peekoff gets punished along with the humans. Ow! Kill her! Shoot her down! Huh? What? Uh, what? What gives? <laughs> Stop it, Rosine! It's you, isn't it? Jill? Rosine! Rosine! Are you okay there, Sonny? Oh, God! Mr. Swordsman! Hey, what's wrong? It's her dust. Oh, look, looks like she's poisonous. Nice clumsy, damn it. Can you stand? You can beat him up now, kiddo. M m m my cattle barn. The, the winter provisions. Crack. Was it you? Did you do this? Thomas? You use Thomas like that? Have you no humanity? Oh no. We're pissing them off again. Especially the housewives. It's all because guts go so nuts. <laughs> It's all because Guts goes nuts. <laughs> What's so funny, bastard? <laughs> you people make me laugh. When this kid ran out, did even one of you unlock your door? <laughs> uh, 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 in any case, you will hand those children over to us. Jill, Thomas, come here. Jill! Jill! Huh? Hurry! Hurry! Huh? Hurry and come here! Mom. <sighs> no. They're children! They're children! They're kids! They're children! They're children! Oh, sweet mother of God. Huh? Ah, oh, damn things changed back when they died. Change of plan. <gasps> Jill! Jill! How about you step aside? How about you step aside? Uh, uh, Jill! Mrs. Don't! God, Jill! Wait a minute! Uh, what are you thinking? You're pissing them off even more here! Quit robbing them all the wrong way! Look! An elf! It's an elf! Is he really on their side? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Now everything's gone all wrong. Coming through. Everyone, please stand back. He's wounded, so it'd be really dangerous to approach him. Jill! Mom! Ah! 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 Give it up. My body's going numb, and I don't know when I'll lose control. You brute! <gasps> Misses! Ah, uh, evil! Uh, this is turning into the least of all available evils. Uh. Why? Why? Yeah? <sighs> this is far enough. Huh? You go on home. Hey now, just go on home? You put a knife to a girl's throat. She's bleeding, ain't she? You know I oughta. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. huh? And now she ain't. See ya. Sorry about all that. Damn dirty. He's leaving. You're going to the Misty Valley, aren't you? I'll go too. Jill. That girl. That big elf. 
She might be my friend who vanished a long time ago. So... So? Huh? What will happen? Give it up. As you saw, she's not human anymore. I'm about to go kill that friend of yours. If you come with me, what'll happen? Stay away. This ain't some kiddie game. Uh, hey! He's going. Is this it then? The end? Will it begin again? The way things always are there. Nothing changes. Nothing ever happens. Like it's always been. That's the way things are. That's... Look at you. Unbelievable. Why do you gotta go and say those things? Being all grown up and blunt in front of a tender little girl. She gives you shelter and food and you repay her like that. Uh, Don't do those things. Uh, Teach the youth. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Let me see your wound. Uh, ah! Ah! That does it. What the hell's your problem? I'm only going to say this once. I got no recollection of making you my pet. Quit buzzing around me. I'm sick of it. Huh? I'm not a pet, though. Hey, don't say that. Without me, this story'd be way too dark. You gotta have color in your life. I thought I told you before. Seeing elves makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to crush them. Don't you think you can live forever? Or can at least take a finger down with me? One man, one kill. Oh, sure. Had enough, eh? Come get some more. Fine. See if I care. Under my skin. Fair enough. You make me babysit rats all night while I puke up this blood. At least I'll be able to pass out in the mud come morning. It takes me all night to cough this stuff up. 